Hey guys, welcome back. You know, Illustrator is a very, very interesting subject to create a logo very easily. We are gonna do that now. Well, we'll create a very creative logo. First, I'm taking the text tool and the size I have taken is 1000 point by 1000 point. That means whenever you will take a new file, uh, you will find few sizes like inches, millimeter, centimeter, points. So, well, we have selected the points for taking a new file. That means the artboard. For logo, we always take 1000 by 1000. Well, here, like this. Okay. And now, what I'll do, I'll take the text tool or press T in the keyboard or you can go through the toolbar well, I have taken the text tool and now I'll left click here on the board then I'll write down connecting Control A and increase the size to 100. And I'll take a text L which is Typograph Pro Extra Bold. Well, this is the downloaded font. You can get it from um, the font or 1001 font. I'll take it in the middle <clears throat> and then I need to make it a shape so what I'll do I'll go to object and expand and then okay I've got that it's not a text anymore now I'll take the circle tool that means ellipse tool and I'll stay here Hold and press the shift key and start making a circle and then I change this color there will be no fill just the stroke only and fill is none and I'll increase the stroke well don't take the stroke too much because I need the size as my text is not more than my text well now I will check this well if you want to move that you have to hold the path that means in the middle I'll press ctrl plus to check that well I'll use the scroll key no 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 I don't want to move the text I'll select that only and I'll move that I have to move it from here And this is too much, I will decrease the size. One more, one more is too less. Yes, it's perfect. Um, if I select M and this one, well, it's okay, it's perfect. And control zero. This side is okay. Now I'll select that one and decrease the size from here with pressing shift. Well, now I'll press control plus. I'll take the another side. Uh, no, it's not accurate. I have to decrease it a little bit more. Control zero. And before decreasing, uh, take a good alignment of that. That means select the intersect. Yes, this is the intersect here. Or if we select both, click on the middle. Control Z. Just select that one. Yes, it's in the middle now. And then I'll press Control Plus and check this from which side I have to make it correct. Yes, Control Zero. I have to take it from the left upper corner.
now yes now it's perfect and in this side okay it's okay and control zero well i'm done i'll press control plus well after that there is an interesting tool is scissors tool so how it works watch that well we'll left click here on the path and after that i'll go there i'll left click here on the path and then i'll come here in the left down corner in the left side left click here now i'll take the move tool select that and I'll go to the uniform and uniform you will get in the right side of the point from where we increase the size of the stroke well you'll get it in the right side of that and click on this well I have got it like that and select this one and uh, I will select that uniform again well so now what I'll do I will select this one and this one both that means together I'll go to the object and expand appearance well it's okay no problem now select this one well select the text right click and ungroup after that you have to select this one and this one this shape this shape oh, this is not this is i don't need control z well no, i'm keeping that i'll select that and i'll select the text both of them well i have to make it shape it's not a shape anymore select that object expand and okay well, I have got it as a shape and select that one and select the text. Go to the Pathfinder and click here divide in the left down corner. Well, I'll press Ctrl plus. Right click on that and group. And I'll select this corner and delete that. Select this corner, delete that and this one. Delete it okay here there's a little bit uh, black portion i can see well i'm deleting that one control zero okay control plus Worse. let's join it first mm, not this one well I have to delete that one okay so what I'll do I'll take the rectangle tool and create a rectangle with this size or I can delete it with the line tool well I'll use the arrow key I'll select both of them and then divide right click and group select that one and delete that well this corner also and delete no 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 i'll delete it later i have to check it first everything is going accurate or not Well, I'm zooming in more.
yes don't worry about the black portion well we can fix that i'll select this one and this one i'll click here in the first option and select this one and this one first option and select this one Well, and control zero. Well, it's perfect. Control plus. And there's a little bit portion. I'm deleting that. Yeah, it's perfect now. Well, if I take the direct selection tool and select that, I will take it a little bit. No, 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 not like this. I'll click here one time. And then I'll take it here in the little bit right side. Mm, too much. Well, I have to zoom in. Or what can I do if I take this in the right side? No, it's not working. Well, I'll take the direct selection tool and click one time. Second time, I'll take it here and this one I'll take here. Well, and here. Select click one time and second time come here a little bit. Control zero. Yeah, it's perfect now. Well, and then I have to select this one and select the N. That means which one is here. Select both of them and divide. Control plus. And select that right click and group. Left click here and delete that. And here, delete this also. And this corner, this small corner. And deleting that. Well, I'm selecting both of them. And that join. Control zero. Let's check this out. Yes, and uh, I have to work here a little bit. Take the direct selection tool, select that. I'll press control plus uh, there is an anchor point in, in this side well, there is no anchor point well no problem let's check it's control zero okay it's perfect and control plus This portion and this portion, I'll select that. That means this small object, I'll join this. And I'll select this one also and join. Together. Well, it's perfect. And if I want, I can add an anchor point here. Mm, let's find out, check out with the pen tool and anchor point. If I add an anchor point here, I'll take the brick selection tool, left click here one time, and second time, I'll take it a little bit left side. No, 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 I have to zoom in more. Well, control zero. And take the move tool. Okay. It's perfect. Connecting. And uh, I will select both of them. If you want, you can make it as a group or put the same color. Now, we have to make it more attractive. Go to file and place. I'll go to the desktop. Mm, I had to take a gradient. I'm taking this one. Well, I'll put the gradient here. In logo, if you put gradient, it will look more attractive, more professional more 
eye catching. Well, how to set the gradient? Well, let's do this. Take the gradient tool in the toolbar and open the gradient panel from here. Or if you don't find it here, you will find the find it in the window and select that. After what you will do, take the eyedropper tool. Left click here, take this color, double click here on the field color. After that, right click and copy and create left click here and make it update. Just left click on that, double click on the color panel, paste it. Okay, you have got one color, and I'm taking the eyedropper tool, I'm taking another color. I'm taking this color, after that I'll double click here and then right click and copy the color code after that I'll make it active make it, make this point active and double click here on the color and paste it control V, okay you have set the gradient color and take the rectangle tool, make a rectangle here Well, now what you will do, you have to create one more, take the eyedropper tool, click the color from here, double click and copy the color code and click here. Well, I'm not selecting that, I'm not selecting that object, that means it will change, I'll select that. Oh, I have got extra, extra. I'll select that and delete that. Well, I'll make it active, double click here and I'll paste it, control V and OK. I have got one color, I need one more. I'll left click here and I'll take this color and double click here. After that, I'll press control C to copy the color. I'll left click here in the panel and make it active. Double click here and control V, OK. I have got one more color that means this gradient I'll take the rectangle tool one more rectangle tool and create a rectangle here well I have got two colors it's very easy to apply now just select the shape where you want to apply your gradient and take the select all of them take the eyedropper tool and click here it has applied well and select the text one by one with pressing shift And then take the eyedropper tool, left click here. Well, it will apply the gradient here and the text also. Well, now uh, I want to reverse this. That means I have got the purple here and the yellow here. But I want that yellow will start here and purple will be there. So what I'll do, I'll take the gradient tool. I, I have to select it first and I'll take this. I'll get a line here whenever I'll take the gradient tool. I'll take this purple line here and I want this yellow here, reverse this. It's so easy. Well, it's perfect. Now watch the combination of the logo. Guys, enjoyed that? I will, I will delete that and I'll delete the gradient color I'll delete it well, now I'll go to the file and save as and then I will go to my folder I'll create a new folder for that. I'll save it as EPS. save and then okay 
and then I want to export it as PNG so that I can watch it very easily because each and every time it's not possible to create to open the illustrator file and it takes a little bit time and those who don't have the illustrator software they will not be able to watch the logo so I'll go to the file and export save for web then you will get the smallest file size and here by default you will get the G GIF geographic interchange format but you have to select here PNG24 and um, transparency you have to click turn it on it is on already and I'll save it and I have to go to the folder and then I'll go to the LEDP class connecting logo save and okay I'm done okay guys like this logo okay thank you so much